today is all about entertaining. I love, love to entertain and create beautiful tablescapes, especially for a ladies' night. Creating a theme, adding special touches, making your affair intimate and elegant is easier than most think. When people think of ladies' nights, they picture a bunch of ladies sitting around, being silly and gossiping, but it's so much more than that. A ladies' night is all about celebrating yourself and the woman in your life. Hosting a ladies' night can help you raise your vibration, decompress, unwind after a hectic week, and just reconnect with yourself and get back in search center. I recommend ladies' nights to my female clients who are going through something and feel like they need that support. Women supporting women is always a great theme to live by. So I'm gonna walk you through how to create a ladies night without it being burdensome, without it being super stressful, and without it breaking the bank. So guys, we're gonna get right into the video. So first things first is I'm gonna be removing my centerpiece from my table. When I'm serving, I want to be the focal point of the table, so that's what I'm putting here. And what this is, is a cake stand that I am going to be using for the salad I'm going to be serving. One of those special touches I like to add to my tablescape is fresh flowers. And today I'm going to be using a pink theme, so pink flowers just adds to the ambiance and brings in that color scheme. Since the flowers are a bit long, I'm actually just preparing them. I'm actually going to cut the stems so they can actually fit in the vase. So I'm going to start prepping and cutting and getting all this set so we can add to our decor. So I'm going to be using my water pitcher as a vase and a base to hold my flowers for today. So always think outside the box. I'm using a water pitcher for my vase and I'm using a cake stand to house my salad. So there's never any rules when you are setting up decor and entertaining. Use what you got and make the best use of what you have, right? So a few of the flowers fell off when I was preparing um, the vase. So I'm gonna put them in the middle of my cake stand. There is an opening there. And um, since it is clear and glass, I thought it would be cute little decor. It could bring out that pink color, which is my theme. So a ladies night is never complete without desserts. So I'm gonna be using this to house some desserts. So my dessert of choice is gonna be some champagne macarons. Macarons are filled with champagne, cream filling flavor. It is so good guys. If you haven't tried these, you gotta try them. They are so yummy. I picked these up at Home Goods. You'll find them at Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and places like that. Look at them, they're so yummy. And what's so cute about them is that they come in a pink color. So once again, it's feeding into that theme that I got going on, right? My theme color. And next is all about the wine. This is a decanter that I picked up at a Z Gallery. I'll be linking everything where you can find everything if it's still available in the comments section. So we're actually gonna be um, drinking some peach Moscato. It's so refreshing and so yummy. I picked this up at um, a wine party that I recently went to and it's so, so good. And instead of um, serving it from its regular bottle, I'm gonna be pouring it into the, the decanter. Um, and this is just for decor. This is just for ambiance. Normally the canters are used for red wines um, But like I said today, we're just gonna be using it just so we can have that decor and that flow um, And make everything look nice and elegant and pretty For those who are not big wine drinkers white wine is served chilled and um, this bottle has been chilled and I have another one chilling so once we run out of the first one, we're going to go in for that second one. So I'm pairing up the decanter with the matching wine glasses. Um, I picked these up at Home Goods originally and after um, I bought them in Home Goods a couple of years back, Z Gallery sells them and also Pure One. So if you're interested in these type of uh, glasses, they, um, they can't be found at those, um, those places. And wine charmers are a must. 
you know when people start drinking they start putting their glasses down and they don't remember which one is there as well you still have that problem with watch and to keep with the flow of the color theme the pink that i chose i just bought regular paper napkins in the color of pink and i just fold them and put them inside the wine glasses it's nothing super special but the effect that it gives inside the glass makes it look so pretty and so elegant I have two different types I have the balsamic vinaigrette and then I have another um, dressing of a more creamier texture so it's good to have options and a good tip to take away is when you are entertaining deep pod your item so what I'm doing here is taking the salad dressing right the regular bottle it came in and putting it in these um, you know my crystal set I actually got this set with uh, a salad server I was given years ago um, and it makes the table just flow once again with that decor you know it makes everything look elegant instead of having you know a bunch of bottles and different wrappings and different colors it's always great to depot everything so it can look nice and seamless adding the serving utensils for the salad itself this is also a set I picked up at Sea Gallery. It's a beautiful set. It has that, you know, diamond in the middle and then the uh, handles are made of acrylic. So it just adds to the theme and that elegance. And since the top of the bowl has that opening, I'm just adding a larger plate directly on top so we can house the salad in. So I picked this extra serving dish to put items that normally people either don't eat in their salad or they are allergic to. So once again, I'm taking it out its original, you know, the, the bags that it came in and I'm actually putting it into serveware. So it could look nice, like I said, and elegant and, um, you know, items are not falling all over the place. There's no crumbs getting on my table and things of that sort, right? So one tip to always keep in mind, especially if you're serving, serving a salad, is that people always have, there's actually always one person who's probably allergic to peanuts or have a, you know, a nut allergy. So uh, that's one of the items that I put on the side and I directly in the salad, right? And now we're ready to get started with our main course. So one thing I did was choose a salad. So salads are super inexpensive, they are healthy. It is summertime, so it's great to you know, eat something that's nice and refreshing. And the best part is that it's easy to prepare, right? I'm just cutting up a few items, a few avocados, tomatoes. Um, I'm just grilling some um, chicken. So I'm gonna take a pack of boneless chicken and just prepare it. Grill it, it's gonna take me five minutes. I'm just adding some cheese, right? So I'm taking all these items and either just cleaning it off or just removing um, their contents from its packaging. And there you go, voila. We have this beautiful prepared salad for everyone to enjoy. I'm setting out some plates and they are so cute. I found them at Home Goods and they say birds of a feather flock together and they have once again that pink going on. So it just fits right into the theme and the decor. So once again guys, here it is. We are done. It took less than 15 minutes to do all of this. And I'm ready to receive my guests and be stress free. So as you can see, you know, I didn't break the bank preparing everything, everything on the table. Um, I already had, you know, the only thing I actually went out to buy was some flowers, which I love to have flowers in the house regardless. Um, and that's pretty much it, you know, or even the items that we're eating, the salad, you know, these are, you know, condiments and everything. This is stuff that I had already in my fridge. I eat a lot of salads. Um, and I just jazzed things up, like took, you know, the wine out of the wine bottle and put it in this beautiful, lovely decanter and it just helped with the, you know, the flow of the ambiance and creating um, a nice tablescape. So anyone can do it. You can do it. If you're going through anything or you've been feeling down and sad, 
um, or if you're just stressed out or just need a break, right? It's always good to call some girlfriends up, call them over, have a little girl's night, you know? It's great to just be around people who uplift you, motivate you, make you feel good, and make you feel love, right? We need more love in this world. Um, so that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!